Welcome back to the show. This is episode two, Excel for Landlords. I have painted data types onto a couple of those numbers. Uh, I'm sure that you guys know how to go into the number thing over here. I mean, I'm not showing you the whole thing, but you know how to do that, but you know, that's, that's trivial. Uh, just in case, you may not know how to do this. I want to take this format. I'm going to double click Format Painter here. Notice after double clicking it, it will stay lit. So click, click. All right, it's still lit. Now I'm carrying that format around on my brush. Ah, there we go. Nice little brush. And I'm going to paint that format uh, dollar sign, comma, no decimal points. Let me see. Rent per unit. That's cash, G A I. That's cash, NOI is cash, uh, monthly down payment, when we start messing with that, that's money. The loan amount is gonna be money. Yep, that's about all of that, okay. Hit the escape key, notice my paintbrush went away. A number's a number, so I'm not gonna do anything there. I'm gonna grab this format, paint it onto my brush, all right, see? That stayed green, because I double clicked. Now I got a brush. So everything that is a percent cap rate, gonna turn that into a percent. Interest rate, I'm gonna be using that a little bit later. Loan to value, that's a percent. All right, that's pretty good. I can make that uh, paintbrush go away by hitting the escape key or by clicking save. So that's a little bit that uh, you may not have known about. All right, we got, uh, up to the point where your cap rate is just about 10%, which, you know, kind of sucks. Loan to value, let's go conservative, and let's say the bank will give you 70%, and the down payment that you're gonna come up with will be your cost basis. Cost basis, uh, I think both of you guys know, but in case you, you know, pass this around to your wives or anybody else that's not familiar with real estate, that would mean every nickel that you put in prior to the point where you signed the lease with a tenant and handed them a key. So that would even include the cost of running ads if you had to pay for ads. It certainly includes buying the property, doing the rehab, all of your holding costs, uh, the full Monty. All right, your down payment is going to be cost basis times, uh, borders, making the same mistake I made the last time. All right, it's, uh, I'm sure you're having a good laugh at me now. All right, it's the down payment minus, they're gonna let you borrow 70% of it, so it will be the down payment minus what this cost times the amount that they allow you to borrow. So they say, dude, you know, you can borrow 70 grand. So you say, uh, geez, okay, all right. Uh, if I take uh, how much is 70 grand, 70% uh, of the cost basis, I get a number and the difference between that and the actual cost basis, that's the amount that I got to put down. So cost basis minus this calculation. You know, by the way, if you're doing a for real video cast, you know, you wouldn't be so chatty and just ramble on like this. When I press enter, bang, that turned into the cash that I got to come up with. But you know, I hadn't been painted with the right stuff yet. So I click, click, I'm just gonna click grab it once. I noticed it was a one-time thing. My brush didn't stay a brush because I didn't double click over here on the format painter. All right, how much uh, am I actually borrowing? This one's really easy. The loan amount would be the cost basis minus the cash that I put down. Right, that's easy. How long do I want to borrow it for? Uh, yeah, you know, I'm gonna uh, I'm gonna mess around with this in the third episode, but for right now, we will say that you're gonna borrow it for 15 years. And uh, how do you guys feel about interest rates? Um, let's uh, 
let's go seriously conservative and say that you're going to have to pay 4%. Now, how much do you have to pay per month? This is where we go to formulas. And I would like to grab the financial formulas. The one that I want is the payment formula. LMNO, okay, there we go. Uh, come on, baby. Payment, payment. Calculates, blah, blah, blah. Notice it's going to accept the rate, the number of periods, all right, I put down 15 years, I'm not going to make 15 payments, I'm going to make a payment every month, in each one of those 15 years, so 12 times 15, it accepts rate, number of payments, PV is present value, so it's asking me how much uh, are you borrowing, and I believe it doesn't need to know any of the rest of that stuff, so I say, yeah, cool, that's what I want. Double click, 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 and it brought up a little dialog box. Uh, it thinks it was clever enough to know what my rate was, or, you know, I probably just typed something wrong. So my rate is in this cell, so I click this cell, but I'm only paying monthly, so I'm paying one twelfth of that. All right, that's cool. I, uh, shit, I can't remember. Ah, crap. Guy boogers. Uh, obvious. Uh, uh. All right, I'm going to shut this thing off. All right, I got myself sorted out. We're ready to go again. Take up where we left off. Obviously, you know, if you're doing a video cast, you go through a few rehearsals. You don't piss around like this so much, but it's 11 o'clock and I didn't sleep last night because I was busy working for somebody. So click in the cell and I say equal. Go to financial. Uh, one mistake I made previously was double clicking here. Just one click. Ready? Click. That's why before it was coming up with a cell in there, because when I clicked twice, it thought that I was picking that cell where I happen to be. And now it's asking me the question, what is the rate? So I click here, puts the cursor right where it needs to be, and I say it's that much money in a year, but in a month it's one-twelfth of that. Then I click in the number of periods, click the total years, and I'm going to be paying this off every month for 15 years, so it would be 15 times 12. Only the bolded fields are the ones that are required, so the last thing it needs to know is, dude, how much you're borrowing? And I say, that's it, right there. And I'll move this where you can see it. It tells me, all right, it's going to be 517 bucks a month. Okay, uh, I don't know. Uh, what was the NOI? I mean, can I cover it? Well, how, how's the debt coverage ratio? You know, we'll talk about that in another episode. 518 bucks. Uh, my NOI for the year was that much. Uh, let's just check it out. If I take this... Divide it by 12. Yeah, it's not too bad. Um, calculate the debt coverage ratio. Bank is going to want to know if I take the available NOI and divide it by what it's going to cost to borrow the money. Just ignore the fact that this has a negative sign right now. Do I come up with a number bigger than 1.2? Okay, sweet. It worked. I'm good. I made it. Uh, the yellow sign is, uh, the negative sign is kind of pissing me off, so I'm going to reverse that, put a, yeah, okay. So my, my DCR is 1.5, even using the very conservative 50% rule. So. Jim, what you do, uh, you come up with a property 
where you put in cost basis, work on the rents, or I, uh, you can see me, tell me what you, the area is, and I can uh, do the rent comps based on Craigslist and Rentometer and blah, 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 blah. Put in one unit or whatever is appropriate. And notice that this is a formula, this is a formula, this is a formula, this is a formula. So these three, this is all that you have to fill in. And normally what I do when I make a spreadsheet like this all right, well, when I'm making a video cast, I, I would not go rambling on forever. You know, I was, uh, you, you're, you're definitely going to lose your audience. You don't, you don't want to do this. I'm just, you know, I'm just me and my pals. I figure, okay, fine. So I paint everything blue, put in some borders, and it looks a little bit better. And then I tell whoever's using it, okay, dude, uh, the stuff that is not blue you can mess with. So I turn that white. Now at this point, I haven't actually done anything. So I select all of those cells. I go into font. See how I picked the font there? Go over to protection and I turn on locked. It, it kind of automatically decided that everything needs to be locked. Then I go back to these three into the font again, protection, turn off the locking. So only the stuff that I also happen to leave white instead of blue is unlocked. But Ken, you're, you're like a, an Excel kind of guy. I mean, you, you know this stuff, right? So you know that what I've done right now uh, it is not going to do butkus. So what I need to do to make this work, uh, buggers, you're not going to be able to see this. All right, I'm going to pause this thing again. Now, you know, hey, let me emphasize, you know, for real video cast, like we're at 12 minutes. Uh, once you get over three, that's bad. So you, you don't go pissing around like this, and you know, if it's the real thing.